Jack said, I know you're in there. Did you hear me, you horrible little cow? Open up or I'll come in and sort the pair of you. Hey, mate, you're wasting time. She's not in there. You bang on my door like that again and I'll sling you over the balcony. Do I want my me? money, Jackson. You'll get it. I've told you a thousand times. Yeah, yeah, I've heard you talk. Now I want to see my rent. What kid's in there and you're scaring him? Oh, scaring him, Mama. Well, I'm going to do a lot more than that if I don't get my cash soon. You'll get it tomorrow. Look, I'm not messing around here. If I don't get it by this time tomorrow, me and a few lads are going to come round and redecorate. And that includes you. Should have kept your head down. I had a cupboard for you. Hey, you don't fancy a bit of babysitting, do you? Cost you. Eight o'clock. Don't be late. Come on, babe, we're going. You haven't paid. Yeah, but I'll pay. I will pay. I'll... No, I'm sorry, it's too late. I've already given this place away. You are joking. Well, what am I going to do with him? I've got to go to college today. Get him, get him, get him. Terrible day. Liam spilled all water over me coursework. The crash is giving his place away. Well, I'll see if they're still up there. Hey, how'd you go? Oh, great. They reckon I'm up for a first. No, oh, that's brilliant. I'm so chuffed. I can't believe Sophie. it. Go up now. Look, I'll see you tonight, yeah. We can give Dean a hard time. So, listen. You couldn't do me a favour, could you? I've been stuck with Liam today. You couldn't look after him for a little while, could you? Oh, look, I'm sorry, but I can't. I've got to be somewhere. Look, I'm sorry, yeah. Bianca, they're waiting for you. Right. You wait here for mummy. I'll be five minutes. Five minutes, all right? Be a good boy. I didn't know you were back. Yes, yes, back a week ago. Um, look, I uh, just want you to know this has nothing to do with me. Bianca, come through. Fashion and textile. You just missed her. 20 minutes? I'll tell you called. It should have been in last week. Yeah, I know, but I'm really sorry. I've been working really hard on it. Been up all night. Got me ideas and stuff right here. Well, don't worry about that now. No, I want to show you. Bianca, we're not here to talk about your coursework. You're not? No. I'm afraid we've got some bad news for you. After careful consideration, we've decided that this course isn't for you. I don't understand. I've been working really hard. I mean, I know I've been late a few times and missed a few lectures and that, but I love this course. I really do. No one's doubting that. And you're not without talent. The fact is, you've failed your last three assignments. Your attendance record is appalling. We've given you chance after chance. But I've been doing this for two and a half years. I've got less than six months to go. You can't cope. Well, I've got a little boy. Exactly. A little boy, a job in a bar, bills you can't afford. The fact is, to let you carry on would be unfair both to you and the college. But is there anything I can say? Anything I can say to make you change your mind? I'm sorry, our decision is final. Bianca. Bianca. I'm so 
sorry. I know how much this course meant to you. I tried to persuade them. Oh, you liar. Not really, I did. You wanted me out. You told them everything. Well, I had to tell them. I mean, I'm your tutor. Then it's my tutor. You've got my best interest at heart. Yes. Is that why you screwed me for six months? Is that why you lied to your wife? You promised you wouldn't mention that. I didn't say a word. Never said nothing when you disappeared off to Milan with her in tow and me just left stranded. Bianca, come on. You said you loved me. Well, yeah, I, people say things. I mean, I'm as mixed up as the next guy. She so used me. You used me. Just stuff me up in there. I mean, look at me. I've got nothing. I've got no money. I'm up to me eyes in debt. I'm all on my own. I used to wake up every morning scared out of my wits. Scared that I just wasn't good enough. But I made it work. Do you know what? I worked day and night to prove I could do this. I've come this far and look. Look, it's just all gone. Look, Bianca, why don't you go home and ask your family for help? Never. Look, well, what are you going to do? Look, here, here, here. Right? I want to help. I don't want your money. You need it. I don't want your filthy money. Just stay away from me. Do you hear me? Come on, babe. We've got a knife. Fashion and textile. Bianca. Bianca. I'm sorry, you just missed her. Wait a moment. Well? Got it. in there, one story and then to bed, right? And if you need me, I'll be on this number. Just ask for Dean. Yeah, hang on a minute. You got something for me? Sam just dropped it off. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye. Yeah, sorry about that. No, no, no. Somewhere out of town. Maybe the factory. I'm really sorry. Look, Dean, I've got a favour to ask. I need an advance. No chance. I'm really in stuck. I can't even afford the bus fare out. You had an advance last week. 150, anything. You're really that desperate. I would be so grateful. You wouldn't believe it. Well, you know my favourite sound. What? My favourite sound. It's the sound of my fly being undone. I don't think so. Well, you said you were desperate. Yeah, well, I ain't that desperate. You sure this is right? Afraid so. Maybe you should have stayed at the hotel. Just silly, I want to meet her. I'm curious.
I'm looking for Bianca Jackson. Does she live here? Never ever. Are you sure about that? Because I rang the college and they gave me this address. Sorry, pal, they got it wrong. What are you doing? You can't come in here. Liam, was that you? I think you should go. Look, I ain't gonna say it again. Hello, mate. But where's Bianca? She's out. How old are you? Fifty now. Get out. Cass, give us that present. Right, that's it. I'm calling the police. Ricky, I think we should go. Yeah, go on. Get out. Get out. Look, I'll be back, all right? You tell her I'll be back. Did you see that? That's my son in there being looked after by some teenage psycho. Ricky, let's just go, yeah? Let's go to the hotel. Yeah, but I want to see Bianca. Well, let's wait in the car. <laughs> Sorry about earlier. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Poor kid. You all right? Yeah. You must be knackered. Yeah, I'm a bit. No, I mean, you must be really knackered. What? Well, you know, all that relief you've been giving Dean. What relief? What are you talking about? You know, relief. Thing. The sand you said that you really liked? Well, here it is. You can stuff your job, stuff your advance, because I'm taking what I'm owed and I'm getting out of here, all right? Where's the money? Well, he bagged it. He took it to the office. Look, are you all right, Bianca? What do you care? Take this 20 quid. Listen, there was a guy here earlier. A guy? What guy? I don't know. He was in a right strop. He was looking for you. Oh, you better go. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for tonight. See Liam. He's asleep. Really? Well, he wasn't earlier. What? I come round earlier. Some kid was looking after him. He was wide awake. Who are you? My name's Cassie. You must be Bianca. What's going on? I told you. I want to see Liam. I've got his birthday present here. Christmas too. Well, now's not a very good time. Fine. I'll come back in the morning then. 
What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Look at you, look. All tied up out on the town with some kid looking after my son. I was working. What, in a brothel? Vicky, why are you being like this? Just come back after all this time. I ain't seen you for nearly two years. Yeah, and I don't like what you're doing to Liam. I mean, look at this. Look at this dump. You ain't even safe around here. This is all I can afford, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow. We'll sort it all out. So what I have? Custody. You are joking. Liam's my son. You can't just come marching back in here after all this time. Come on, Ricky, let's go. I'll be back in the morning. Well, don't bother, because I won't be here. Bianca, what's going on? Shut up. Wants his money back, he wants it back tonight. Can you hear me? Right. People are trying to sleep in here. Now keep it down or I'll call the police. Tonight, okay? Look, what's happening? What is going on? Bianca, what have you done? I nicked it. I work in this bar. I was going in the office to pick up my wages. What? And you've accidentally... There must be 50 grand here. Well, I didn't know it was that much. You're off your trolley, do you know that? You can't go around nicking money like this. You'll get done. I won't. Well, of course you will. I won't. They can't get the police on me or anything. I mean, this bar I work in, they deal a lot of drugs in there. You've nicked drug money. Well, I don't know. I didn't know what it was. It was just there. I was desperate. Oh, I don't believe this. Look, you've got to take this back. You know that, don't you? I can't stick my nose back in there. If I go there now, they're going to kill me. Oh, what, you think they're going to let you get away? You think they won't come and find you? Well, that's why I'm going. I'm taking Liam. No, you're not, because I ain't going to let you. You ain't fit to be a mother. I mean, look at you. I mean, look at the way you're living here. Mummy. Oh, sorry, darling. Did I wake you? <sighs> you don't even recognise me. Oh, yes, he does. Look. Look who's come to see you. It's your daddy. Cass, why don't you go upstairs and give him his present? Me? I just want to have a word with Bianca. Come on, sweetheart. We've got a lovely present for you. We've got to take this back. I can't. I'm scared. I'll come with you. We can explain. You can apologise and that'll be the end of it. What, just like that? Well, look at you. You ain't some big-time thief. They'll just think you flipped or something. And you'll come with me? Yes. He wants his mum. Can we go now? Uh, I'm going to go with her. What? I'm going to go with her. I I'm going to help her. Why? Is her problem, not yours? Oh, look, I can't just dump her in it. She's got my son here. Look, I I'm going to go with her and we're going to sort it out properly. You know your problem, don't you? You're soft. That's how you got in this mess in the first place. You are not getting involved. What's going on? Come on, we're going. Come on, hurry up. Nice car. Thanks. Doing all right for yourself, ain't you? Yeah, I'm doing all right. How you been? Yeah, not bad. Where have you been? The Rand. So what about uh, Cassie? And what about her? Oh, you know. She's my fiance.
don't think there's no one there. Well, we'll break in. What? We'll break in. We'll pull it back. You can pretend you saw them only took your wages and stuck the rest of it in the desk. I never believe that. They will. Someone will see us, Ricky. We're not getting nicked. Oh, this is a big mistake. No, you're a big mistake. I mean... I've been here three hours, look at me, look. Creeping around buildings in the middle of the night. Exactly, this is stupid. You calling me stupid? No. Yes, you are. Look, you might have got away with that once, but not again, all right? I've changed. Anyway, forget about it. How are we going to get in? Well, there is a window around the back. Some kids broke into it a couple of weeks ago, so all balled it up. Come on, then, let's go around the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rick, are you all right? Yeah. to put it back if I can't see. Oh, come on, hurry up. Right, stick it in that drawer. This is stupid. Just do it. They ain't gonna believe me. They will. It's easy for you to say. You ain't got to come no, They will believe you. Now, just stick it in the oh, drawer. Oh, yeah, you know best. Then you stick it in the drawer. You idiot, what are you doing? Don't have a go at me. Well, put it back. You put it back. Evening. I've already told you, this is all a misunderstanding. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to her. I just came in to pick up my wages, that's all. I couldn't find them, just saw the money. In my coat? The chair fell over. Gust of wind. I wasn't going to keep it. You ain't coming back for more, then? We was coming to put it back. We were scared. Scared? Well, of me? Silly girl. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just gonna phone the cops. You can't. Breaking and entering. It's pretty straightforward. If you don't wanna do that, you wouldn't want them poking around, would you? Why not? Well, then they would know what it was for. Drugs. Drugs? Is that what you think, is it? So? You'd rather I didn't call the police? You don't want me to? You sure? Yeah. All right, lads, hold him down. What are you doing? Hold him! Oh, no. What are you doing? I don't understand! No, no. They want me to call the police, I won't. But I've got to punish you. I can't just let you waltz in and waltz out. It's not his fault! Pick a leg. No! Pick no, a no, leg! No, no, Harry, no. get the hammer! No, please! Fine, we'll do both! No, please, wait! Do it to me! Why would I want to do that? I mean, he's the mastermind behind the operation. It's nothing to do with him. Of course it is. Look at him. He's a criminal genius. He's just helping me out, that's all. I touch him. I'm very, very touching. All right, Harry, you heard it. No! Look! I'll do anything 
please. All right, calm down, calm down. Tell you what, you do me a favour. I'll wipe the slate clean. Forget this ever happened. <laughs> Just name it. Make a delivery. Here's the address. Give him this. Pick up something in return. Then you come and see me. Just it's fine. We'll do it. Just tell us where to go. It's all written down. Go on, don't hang around. You don't want to be late. Come on. One more thing. Mess this up. Try and do a runner. And that little kid of yours goes on the missing list. for seven years, and I still do. Don't you love me?